Welcome guys, today we're talking about the area of a square or a rectangle. Let's pretend that this is actually your room and you found the coolest new carpet out in town right now and you want to go ahead and put brand new carpet inside of your room. You're going to want to find the area because you're going to want to know how much carpet you need to fill in your room. So remember, area is always finding the space inside. How do we find the area of a square? Well, the formula should always be area is equal to length times width. Now, we can use that for the area of a square, and we can also use that for the area of a rectangle. Same formula. How do we find the area of a square in this case? Well, first of all, how do I know it's a square? Well, because my sides are the same. So this would also be 10 centimeters, and this side would also be 10 centimeters. And I put these little marks on here just to show you guys that they're all the same. What makes up a square? Four equal sides. So how do we find the area? We know it's length times width, and in this case we can say length times width, or 10 times 10. And 10 times 10 should give us 100. So therefore the area is 100 centimeters squared. Now, you may also see this formula for a square written as a is equal to s squared. Notice, since it's a square, the sides are the same, so really you can just square one of the sides. S stands for side, so it would be one side squared, which would be the same as 10 squared, which is equal to 100 centimeters squared. Now, area is always squared, guys. Whenever you write it, it should be centimeters squared, feet squared, and so on, okay? So again, remember that the formula should say area is equal to S squared, or you can also stick to area is equal to length times width. 